This is, we, we're, we're not doing takes, but I said if we have to, we can take 47, we can throw it away. If, you don't think mom's going to like it, but I'm going to send you to Hollywood maybe. Aww. But we were just talking. We're trying to help people. When you go to the government in one way, shape, or form throughout the 50 states and the territories, you'll have probate court, yep. but then you're going to have a mental health which court. And when you're getting guardianship, this is a little off topic from Barry, guardianship, there are more community resources for under the mental health code for a development disabled person than there are under the probate code. We were talking about that, and I said, you know, I get these I get protective service, I get the government, they go in and they slap somebody with a guardianship, it's the wrong one, mm -hmm. which cheats them out. They don't look at it that way, but right. they do it simply. And I said to you, why are they doing that? Because we have a panel of judges here telling us there are more community supports, more resources, more bridges to money, people, and information if you have a DD, a developmentally disabled, in Michigan's <laughs> terminology, for somebody who's developmentally disabled, uh, could be along the, what do they call it, the, uh, um, there are many dis disabilities, but that one, Auspice, Asperger's, 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 yeah. that spectrum, mm -hmm. anything, yeah. there's more out there. Why? Tell me, you're, you were doing a wonderful explanation of, Mike, this is why I think things happen the way they do. Why they go normal guardianship versus the DD. And I said, maybe they don't want to do the accounting. Maybe it's, it's too much work. Why would, what do you think? I think there's a lot of people, like we get a lot of phone calls um, from people who said, well, of course I'll stand up as guardian for so-and-so, but they don't know all of the, the responsibility that comes with it. The annual accountings, the annual reports, um, the things that are required by the court to make sure that the person is doing their job. And we get a lot of people that don't they signed up for it and don't necessarily know or have kept good track of what they were supposed to be doing. Um, so I think it's all about education and networking and just putting um, people together that can answer those questions. My mother is big on, even if I don't know the answer, I'm gonna help you find someone who can. Or who does know the answer. And it, that's half the battle right there is just finding the right person to talk to so you can learn and be educated because the more we have educated people out there that are doing the right thing, um, the more people we can take care of that don't have anybody else. And I think that in the end is what it's all about. You know? Caring. Mm -hmm. If you care, care. You, the job will teach you how to do it and yep. you bridge to people, resource, information. Exactly. If you don't have it, you can always bridge. Fair yeah. enough? Yeah. All right, they're going to break for lunch. We're gonna, the noise will pick up. I'm going to sign up. Thank you very much, You're Sarah. You're very welcome. And uh, we only, this is not 47 takes. This is it. This is take one. <laughs> yeah. Hollywood. Hollywood. Hollywood bound, girl. <laughs>